Coach? Well, it's always good for me to come back to Jersey. I Many of you guys know I got my start at the Hall way back in the day. So with Coach Amaker and um, always enjoy New Jersey basketball and um, just feel very fortunate to win the game tonight. Um, I think you saw two really good teams just kind of battling it out. I mean, both teams defensively were making it real hard on the other team. I mean, it was, I looked at my staff a couple of times and said, I don't know what we can do to get a clean shot. They're flying around. But fortunately, our defense was matching theirs, you know, and I thought we were doing the same. Our activity, our physicality, um, you know, it was 25 21 there, real rock fight in the first half. And man, I really credit our supporting cast. You know, our, our guards have been great all year long, and Steve is such a good coach. He did a a great job of kind of getting the ball out of Boo and Chase's hands. And we knew they were going to do that. And those other guys, I mean, what can you say about Brooks Barnheiser? You know, he comes out and gets 16 and 10 and just big buckets when we needed them. You know, I thought Matthew Nicholson was great playing against Cliff, you know, one of the better big guys. I thought those guys were battling all night long. And, um, and Ty Berry, you know, his ability to give us double figures when we really didn't have our guards going. And then obviously Boo gets the three big threes. You know, there in the second half when we really needed them. You know, we did enough against the press. We missed some free throws. We had a couple turnovers, but fortunately, we never really let the crowd get into it there in the last four minutes, which is what worried me. I've I've been in here when this crowd gets going and that press gets going and and crazy things can happen. So, really proud of my team. Uh, I don't think many people picked us to come in second place. Um, you know, but when the season started, uh, as a matter of fact, I think we were picked last. You know, and so, but it's a great testament to our guys, you know, their ability to kind of block that out and, and get together this year in a really tough Big Ten and and go out and get the wins. I mean, six road wins, you know, for us this year was, you know, to me a really incredible feat because it's so hard, you know, to play on the road. So we're really excited to come in here and win and, and get the double bye and get in second place. And obviously we're going to go home now and, and get ourselves ready for next weekend in Chicago, which should be a great tournament. Every team in this league has taken its turn with a losing streak yep. and a winning streak. How do you manage your players' heads through the ups and downs of this league when every team is so close? Yeah, I think it's a great point because that's what we talked about. You know, for us, you know, everyone was saying we've lost three in a row. Well, you know, we, we had an 18-point lead at Illinois, and we lose on the last possession. You know, we lose on a buzzer-beating three to Penn State. We go to Maryland and lose. They went 10-0. and You know, so we had a tough stretch here. Of, of games, and I didn't think we actually played that poorly. We just got beat, you know, by teams that are probably all going to be in the NCAA tournament. So, you know, I, I think we talked about with our guys, like you look at all these teams. I mean, even Purdue went through it a little bit. You know, they're the conference champs. They had a couple week stretch where they lost four out of six or whatever it may be. And and we kind of went through it here the last week and a half, and, and we knew it was going to be tough with our schedule. And that's why to come here tonight and kind of, you know, stop the bleeding, so to speak, and, and come on the road and get a win, kind of, you know, we didn't want to go into the postseason with four straight losses. You know, this was an important game. And also, we wanted the double bye. You know, all the, all the teams are really banged up and tired. The grind of this season is crazy. So to get an extra day to get home and get ourselves ready to play on Friday, it was just a really important game. You played Rutgers arguably at their best the first time, and now they're, they're arguably at their worst this season now. Is there any noticeable, dif noticeable dif differences you see between the first game and the second game, and especially them not having Mag? How much yeah, I make? was going to say, guys. I mean, Mag, you know, and you guys know, you cover this team. I mean, he, he was such an energizer bunny for these guys. I mean, he was like their, their energy guy. You know, he was their guy who was all over the place and, and, point, and uh, the, the point of their press. And he was a shot maker, and he could score and rebound. Then it allowed Hyatt to come off the bench and kind of be that six man. And so you can't, you know, you lose a guy of that magnitude, it's going to change your team. Uh, the reality is they're still very good, in my opinion, and their defense will always give them a chance. You know, we just happened to catch them tonight. We, we did a good job. You know, they didn't shoot it as well. You know, would they go two for 17 for three? First time we played them, I think uh, Spencer had six threes, and Mulcahy had a couple, and McConnell. So, you know, I thought we just did a good job defensively. They're going to be fine. Um, you know, I think they're really good. You know, their defense speaks for itself, and they have veteran guys in that locker room. You know, I, I, I've played against Paulie now for four years and, and, and Cliff for a no, number of years, and obviously Caleb and, and what he's going to bring. And, you know, th those guys are going to be ready to go, you know, in Chicago this week. Chris, just kind of mentioning, um, you mentioned how you know, crazy the league has been this year. I mean, is it almost hard to expect what the Big Ten tournament's going to be like and, like, just how insane things <laughs> Yeah, I mean, are. I was just kind of watching games today, and I was just shaking my head. You know, I mean, probably coming into the day, you know, and, and it stunk to have to play at 730 because you're, you're anxious and you want to play. But 
I mean, almost every game was kind of opposite of what everyone thought was going to happen today. You know, it was kind of a microcosm of what we saw all year long. And I mean, how many of these games are going down to the last shot or the last possession or, and it's almost like who makes a shot or who gets a big stop or who makes a free throw. And um, I mean, I've never seen a conference with this amount of like, you know, you, I guess you had Purdue won by a couple games, but then us in Indiana with 12 and then what, six or seven teams at 11. I mean, that's crazy to me. And, and then you got Penn State at 10 and, you know, a couple others at nine. I mean, it just shows the, the strength of this league, how hard it is to win a game. And um, it was really fun to compete. I'm exhausted, but it, it's really fun to compete in a league that's, that's this good. Any more questions? All right, that'll wrap it All right. up. Thank you, Thank you guys. What's up, Stevie? My guy, man.